So good morning and welcome to another episode of Pack Rafting Essentials. My name is Martin and today we're going to be looking at attaching a bag onto your pack raft. So here we have one of the MRS surveyors. So you've got two options of carrying a bag on this. You can actually stuff it in the stern of the boat there or you can attach it on the front and that's what we're going to look at first. So most pack rafts have got four gear loops on the bow. So you've got two on the port side and two on the stern. So this is what we're going to look at attaching our bag onto. So we're going to be looking at attaching this bag onto the front of a pack raft. So this is the Alp Kit Ledge, which I think is an absolute brilliant bag for a day bag for pack rafting. But the first thing we need to be thinking about is waterproofing this. Now, even if you're on calm water, I would really, really recommend on waterproofing your bag because you just never know what's going to happen. So you've got two options. So we'll look firstly at sticking this into a dry bag. So here we have a 40 litre dry bag. So all I'm going to do is put my bag into the dry bag. Now these dry bags are not 100% waterproof. You will get some water ingress if they're gonna be submerged in the water for a long period of time. But for a quick dunking, they're gonna be able to keep all of your gear waterproof. So with a dry bag, you need at least four to five turns to make this waterproof. So squeeze out as much air as you can out of it, four or five turns or as much as you can get, close it up, and then that is all of my gear nice and waterproof inside a dry bag. And then the other option you've got is utilizing your inflation bag. Now, although this isn't gonna keep it 100% waterproof, it's gonna stop splashes from paddles and white water getting into your gear bag. So all you need to do is literally just take your bag, put that in your inflation bag, push it right down to the bottom, squeeze as much air out as you can, twist the tops around, and then this bit is coming around to where your inflation valve is. Just bring that over your inflation valve and then just make sure that when you put this on your pack raft, this is going at the bottom. Now attaching your pack raft onto your bag, you've got about three options that I can think of. So you can use a cargo net. Now personally, I think that these are a bit of an entrapment hazard. They can get caught on branches, on rocks, and your feet can get caught on them if you need to take a bail. You've got these webbing straps that you can use. Personally, I don't like using these because especially if you've got your bag in a dry bag, once you put your bag onto your pack raft, then some air is gonna leak out of it over a period of time. So these will become loose. What I like to use are these elastic bungees. Now I think these are absolutely perfect they're dual use you can use these to attach your pack raft onto your bag and of course your bag onto your pack raft if you're interested in these then please do let me know because I do have a few of these available so what we'll do is we'll get the bag onto the pack raft and I'll show you how to use the bungees so what we've got here is two one meter long eight millimeter pieces of bungee and then you've got these little cleats on the end which are absolutely brilliant at keeping your gear tight onto your pack raft so looking at this pack raft here so this is the MRS surveyor and the rear gear loops you can see do come quite far back on this pack raft especially over the cockpit here so the one thing you need to think about is entrapment and that is from your feet if you do need to bail so what we'll do is we'll literally just take our bag that we've got wrapped up in our inflation bag make sure that that inflation valve is covered by that and I'm just going to rest it on the bow of the pack raft just here and then we'll take one of the bungees and just feed it through that gear loop over to the opposite side of the pack raft now these gear loops here it's very very important that you don't pull this very quick and very fast through this gear loop because the friction will actually cause this piece of webbing to melt. So you need to just reach from the back and just gently pull it through until you get that piece tight and then bring it back over to the other side. Now the cleat, we're gonna be going through the side that has just the hole on the side. So we're just gonna feed the elastic through there and then just pull that tight and just tie it off in the cleat there. And then we just do exactly the same thing on the other side. And then the trick is just to pick up your back raft and give it a shake just to make sure that bag is tight and not gonna fall off. So there we go. So that's using the inflation bag to keep your gear pretty much dry on the front of your pack raft. I would recommend using a dry bag if you can because then you've got the added advantage of securing your gear onto your pack raft as well. So we'll just take a look at that. So here we have our gear in a 40 litre dry bag. And as mentioned before, over a course of time, air is gonna escape outside of this, but the elastic is gonna compensate from that by keeping this, uh, this dry bag tight to the pack raft, as opposed to with a webbing where the gear is gonna be coming loose. Now you can actually secure this bag onto your pack raft by using the D-ring on the dry bag here, the strap that keeps your pack raft rolled up 
up, you can just feed that through the D-ring on there, and then you can then bring that through the gear loop on the bottom of the pack raft here, and then you can then just tighten that up. And then with a the loose end, just do loads of half hitches, just so you've got no loose ends of webbing flapping around in the water that could possibly cause an entrapment. So some pack rafts have got space in the stern, so this is another option you can have for stowing your bag. So let's have a look at stowing your bag at the stern of your pack raft. So for this method, I'd recommend that your bag is kept in a dry bag and not wrapped up in your inflation bag, because it's not gonna be hugely secure in the back of your pack raft. So that sits quite nicely in the stern of the pack raft there, and then we're just gonna just tighten it up, just using the pack raft strap, running through the D-ring on the dry bag there, and then through the backrest web in there, and then we're just gonna tighten that up as before, and then just use a load of half hitches just to get rid of the loose ends of the strap. So the great thing about this method is, if you were to take a bale and end up in the water, this bag is gonna come out of the pack raft, end up in the water, and that's gonna act as an anchor, like a drogue, to stop your pack raft from being blown away by the wind. Because if this pack raft isn't anchored and it is quite windy, this pack raft is gonna go because there's gonna be no weight inside of this pack raft. So that is an added advantage of having your bag stored like this. So even with the MRS micro raft that's got limited space in the stern there, you still can fit your bag into there and still be quite comfortable Comfortable. And the same again, just using your pack raft strap, just through the D-ring, and then what you can do is just loop that around the seat rest that you haven't inflated because that's going to limit your space that you've got there, and you're not going to need it because you're going to be resting your back on uh, on your bag anyway. So the one thing you need to think about when putting your bag in the back of the pack raft like this is weight distribution. Obviously, my body weight and the weight in my bag is going to make it quite stern heavy, especially when there's nothing attached onto the front of the pack raft. Now, sitting like this, it is really, really comfy. You've got a nice solid back rest in here. You've got a nice forward sitting position when you're paddling, and it's just nice, nice, comfy way of setting up your pack raft. The one thing I do like about having the bag on the front of the pack raft like this is it can be easy just to access a few bits outside of it, and it also gives me some to make my GoPro on when I'm filming. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Pack Rafting and Essentials, how to attach your bag onto your pack raft. If you've got any other methods, then please do leave that in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time on Pack Raft Essentials.